This is just a quick tutorial on how to solve simultaneous equations uh, when one of your equations has the equation of a circle in it. So, first of all, what is it that we're trying to do by solving this form of simultaneous equation? Well, let's just try and represent what we're trying to do graphically. Um, our first equation, which I'm going to call equation 1, is an equation for a circle. We can identify that because it has not only an x squared term synonymous with a quadratic equation, but different to a quadratic, it also has a y squared term as well. Uh, so when you have both an x squared and a y squared, we know that this is the equation for a circle. Okay, now the second uh, equation is a linear equation. It's going to create a straight line. Uh, and again, much like with the quadratics, we've got three possibilities here. Either our straight line will completely miss our circle, so there is no common solution to these two equations. There is the possibility it might just touch on one side, creating one single solution. Or more likely than not, especially if this is the kind of question you might come across in an exam at GCSE, then the line will cross the circle at a maximum of two positions. And our job by solving simultaneous equations is to find out where those two positions are. So how do we do it? Well, this time we're going to have to use the uh, substitution method uh, of dealing with simultaneous equations. Uh, so far equation 2 tells me that y is equal to x plus 2. But in equation 1 I haven't got any y values. I only have a y squared value. So my first job is to convert qu um, equation 2 into a y squared now to do that, my x plus 2 must also become squared. Now the classic mistake in here is that people would normally say, well that's just x squared plus 4. Uh, however, that is not correct. Remember, to square the expression x plus 2 literally means that I have two brackets multiplied together, both having the value of x plus 2. Uh, and we should be comfortable that to multiply out double brackets should give us uh, both the x squared term, x times by x. It should give us x times by 2, a 2x term. But also 2 times by x, another 2x term. And 2 times by 2, which is 4. Uh, that simplified gives you x squared plus 4x plus 4. And as some people sum it, it is the square of the first, square of the last, twice the product. Okay, so we now know that y squared is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. And we can now substitute that into equation 1. So whereas equation 1 did say x squared plus y squared, I'm now going to write x squared plus x squared plus 4x plus 4, because that's what we know that y squared is equal to. Uh, and our equation says, equation 1 says, that that is all equal to 20. If we just tidy that up, we've got two lots of x squared plus 4x. Uh, I'm going to subtract the 20 from both sides to give me minus 16 equals 0. OK, I'm now left with a quadratic equation. Um, now we have a coefficient of 2 in front of my x squared term. Uh, now normally to try and solve this, I would like to try and remove that if possible. Uh, and you'll notice that 2 is a common factor of all three parts of the quadratic equation. So I'm going to divide 3 by 2 to give me x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Now that creates a much easier quadratic equation for me to solve. Now I'm going to factorise. So I'm looking for two numbers that will multiply to give me minus 8. And two numbers that will add together to give me 2. Well, factors of 8 are 8 and 1. Or 4 and 2. So I know I'm going to have to use 4 and 2. Because 4 and 2 are the only factor pairs that have a difference of 2. Uh, and to decide which one's got to be negative to produce my minus 8, it has to be the 2, because 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. That works. 4 plus minus 2 gives me positive 2 as a result. 
So the factorised form then. We have x plus 4 and we have x minus 2. So the x coordinates of where the line meets the circle is x equals minus 4 and x equals positive 2. Now we've got the x coordinates, we just now need to find the y coordinates. Now, once again, it's easier to be able to put these x values into equation number 2. Uh, in fact, all we've got to do in this case is to add 2 to our x values. So my y coordinate here, minus 4 plus 2, gives me minus 2. And when x is equal to 2, 2 plus 2 gives me 4. So we've now found the two coordinates of where the line meets the circle. If we just on our axis, just try and graphically represent what's going on. We've got our circle, uh, we have our equation, uh, and the two coordinates then is x is equal to 2, where it meets here, and the y coordinate is 4, and just to make that nice and clear, I'm going to write the coordinate down, that they meet at 2, 4. And the other place where the line meets the circle is x is minus 4, and the y value is minus 2. And again, just to make that clear, I'm going to write down the place where they meet, the coordinate is minus 4, minus 2. And that is how we solve simultaneous equations when one of the equations is identified as being the equation for a circle.